good morning everyone I'm just waiting I've got another five minutes um, Louis is at the groomer having his hair cut um, it's Tuesday today my bruise is still there it's really bad um, it sort of seemed to be shrinking in size uh, but it's still really black here I'm doing it on my phone and I don't know if I'm looking at the right place I think I should be looking there um, yeah so but it's not too bad but without makeup it still looks really bad um, it was so funny when I was reading your um, <laughs> uh, answers about the word ratchet um, and uh, a lot of you told me that it is from the word wretched so I went on Google I don't know why I didn't do that in the first place and uh, at Urban Dictionary it says that ratchet is an ghetto dialect mispronunciation of English well word wretched so now I know <laughs> and it's not rude ratchet but I really like that that um, word I tell you what I heard it if any of you watch the silly videos of Jenna Marbles she does Jenna's ratchet salon when she <laughs> does silly things beauty treatments um, yeah I like the word ratchet I'm feeling like I want to go to home sense today different home sense that I normally go to I don't know if I should do that but I think I should yeah I better go and get Louis how pretty do you look what a good boy Louis did mommy buy you a new pillow new soft pillow <laughs> gorgeous boy so i've decided not to go anywhere because i forgot i still have so much washing and i need to so i'm gonna stay home and do all that so we are going somewhere now um paul always leads me astray even though i've got all this stuff to do but he's home today and he wants to go to this nice garden center where we bought our christmas tree two years ago and of course i would never say no to go into a garden center um he also asked me to wear my glasses because he said he doesn't want people to think that he's beat me up <laughs> with my bruise so i put my glasses on him the frame just covers the bruise um, i might try to video a bit in the garden center so you can see all the Christmas decoration. So the place was rubbish really, didn't have many nice things. All I bought is three snowy twigs. You can never have too many snowy twigs. I bought more of these. These are, you know, the little wire hooks to hook the ornaments with. And we bought Max um, a Lind advent calendar chocolate one we buy him every year even though he's almost 18 <laughs> good morning my lovelies i've got a really bad headache today i don't know why um what is it today friday my bruise is still there like i said it is getting much smaller like shorter but the black bit is just concentrated here and i find it um harder to disguise um a lot of you asked me if I could do a video how to disguise the bruise. 
I probably won't because I don't think I'm that good at it. There is a video by this Irish makeup artist, Sharon, but I think she lives in Australia. I'll leave you a link to that because she did really good uh, job on disguising her brows when she had her lips done and she's a makeup artist so I will leave you a link to that if you want to see how she did it. Yesterday I went out with my friend, uh, we went for breakfast and we just went to look around shops and I, I was vlogging it with my phone but when I looked back at it I hate vlogging with my phone. Um, I obviously didn't press the button or press the wrong button, so I've taken a picture instead of uh, filming it, and then I held my phone the wrong way, so we are upside down. It was a disaster. But I just wanted to show you, I popped into, we popped into um, Primark, and I got these two gorgeous reindeers. Look at these. They are so lovely, and I think, that one was five pounds and that one was six pounds. So I think it's a really, really good uh, value for money. So they will be sitting somewhere on my table when I do my Christmas uh, table centerpiece. So I just wanted to show you just in case. I didn't even know that Primark would do any Christmas decorations yet, but I really love them. Another little thing I wanted to mention as the Black Friday and Cyber Monday is approaching, I got an email from Irresistible Me, uh, which you know I love the company. I've been working with them for a very long time. I started off with the extensions, which are amazing, the human hair extensions. I know I don't wear them that much. One, because my hair was so short and it's very... Uh, hard to blend in extensions with short hair and then I started with the wigs but the extensions are amazing I wore them quite a lot um, in like last year and year before but what I wanted to tell you is that they already preparing their campaign for the um, Black Friday and Cyber Monday they've already started and I think they have like 35% discount now, but on Friday and Monday, that will be even better. So if you were thinking of Christmas presents or even buying something for yourself at an amazing price, then I will leave you the link to get to the website and check their stuff. So you know, one of my favorite products, uh, heat tools, is the eight in one um, curling wand. I think this one is called Sapphire. So you get the wand and you get all the different interchangeable ends. And if you've ever seen any of my uh, videos, how I curl my own hair, I would have always used that tool. And I still absolutely love it. So um, yeah, have a look at this. And of course the latest one, uh, the onyx hair dryer i really really like it i must say that i think i prefer it to my um dyson hair dryer which i do like the dyson i love the the design of it i love how small it is how light it is but i think this one has so many more features and uh it's obviously much cheaper than the dyson so i really like it just remember while other discounts are going on for for the products you can use my 20 percent off obviously that's quite obvious isn't it you can't use discount with a discount so my 20 percent discount is only um available of the full price products but when they have any other promotions going on any other discounts then you can't use the extra my extra 20% off but like I said I think they have it at 35% off now and on Black Friday and Cyber Monday the deal supposed to be even better so just heads up for you on that and as we are near Christmas and gift buying I wanted also to mention uh, Charlotte Lacroix uh, you know I've been you know, I've been loving these products for over a year now, especially the Argan Semstel's Firming Face Serum and the Renewal Eye Cream. I use them every night. This is like my um, 
nighttime routine i always use my um, one of skin deva serums and then i just use these two <clears throat> and that's when i feel my skin looks the best in the morning when i wake up so i really love them they've introduced now a new vip membership program so basically you pay membership i think it's 14.99 dollars per month and you can get the products then for the price that it cost them to make them so you can get the serum like for ten dollars um and i think that's quite a good idea because obviously this is luxury skincare and um, it's quite expensive so you would have to i suppose work out how much stuff you would use in a year and how much would the membership cost you in a year but they've asked me to mention uh, to you that they've introduced this membership program i will leave you the link to it so you can go and have a look and see if that is something that you would be interested in so you know i haven't go, gone to um home sense was it yesterday or the day before and i really want to go so i might have to go today but i've got a terrible headache i need to take some tablets um if i go i will vlog from there a bit i see you later so i'm on my way to home sense and i thought i have a chat with you in the car as some of you asked me um about you would like to know about the Polish Christmas and Polish traditions and I must say I really really miss Christmas in Poland um, especially the ones that I remember from my childhood and I suppose in Poland it was always more about the tradition the religion than the commercial side of it um, as you know, in Poland, majority people are Catholics and even if you're not very religious and don't go to church all the time, you would still keep those traditions. So the most important um, day at Christmas is Christmas Eve in Poland and that's when we prepare like a Christmas Eve supper which consists of 12 meat-free dishes. So there will be fish and vegetables, um, but no meat because this is like the last day of, um, is it Lent? I can't remember what it is in English. And, um, and also uh, we would always leave one place setting empty. With a bit of straw underneath and that was representing the no room in Ain when Mary and Joseph were looking for for place to stay to give birth to Jesus you know they were refused so many times so this is um, to symbolize this so if someone knocked on a door they had nowhere to go for Christmas you would have the spare uh, setting for them um, and uh, that's when we would do the presents as well so as, as a kid um, the presents would be put under the tree at some point in the evening when we were not looking and we were not allowed to touch them or open them till we saw the first star in the sky and that star would represent the Bethlehem star that led three kings to Jesus with them bearing gifts so that was always very exciting and you know the the supper would be lovely with your family we would sing carols and, and then we would share um the jesus's body you know the little white thing i can't i don't know what that is called in english really um we would break it off and wish each other you know all the best for, for for the year to come and all that um being in, in poland there would be always a lot of alcohol involved <laughs> um but it would be really really happy and and lovely
lovely evening and then at midnight we would all go to the midnight mass and in Poland you know in every wherever you lived your area your housing estate would have a church so it was never a very long walk um, and it was beautiful because it would be always snowy I'm sure these days you know with the climate change um, do you know what I'm talking to you and I completely went the wrong way um, I've gone on to motorway which I didn't need to so God knows where I'm going I have to come off and come back <laughs> um, yes yeah, so yeah it was lovely I mean the church would be packed and you know people were all merry and jolly because they all would have had few drinks you know with their supper but everybody was singing carols and it was just fantastic I absolutely loved Christmas in in Poland there is something special about tradition if you are a believer or not it is something really special oh my god I am going totally the wrong way it must be my headache that makes me I'm not thinking straight so I have to come off of here go back and go a different way I see you in a bit been here for ages about an hour and a half putting things in my basket taking them out bloody hundreds of reindeers of all shapes and sizes and finishes oh my god Christmas trees and the more I was walking around and trying to imagine where I put it all I'm thinking where am I gonna put it they are all beautiful beautiful stuff and I would love to have it all but there is not enough room in my house just for Christmas to put it all around uh, so I've ended up with buying more baubles surprise surprise I just bought um, those dark purple ones and like four pale pink ones which I probably didn't need but you know yeah, so I just bought some bubbles and that's it. <laughs> and I was here an hour and a half. Honestly, there were so many gorgeous things. Candles, decoders and... Oh, you know what it's like in Home Sense. But, um, yeah, I was quite sensible and put most of it back. I still would want it. It was nothing wrong with it. I got beautiful two crystal reindeers, one standing up, one lying down. But I think I have three reindeers now, so why do I need two more? So yeah, I put most of it back, right? I'll have to go and get something, buy something for dinner now. And 
go home and cook dinner. Just spent all day looking at Christmas decorations. And I still have a headache. All right, my lovelies. I see you later. Bye. Good morning everyone, um, it's Sunday today, we've just uh, been to town, I just needed to get some wipes really <laughs> um, and I also wanted to pick, I've ordered some boots, ankle boots and it's been over a week and I still haven't heard anything, we went there and they still don't have them so I don't know what's going on with that. Anyway I just wanted to quickly say thank you, I got a couple of cards and a gift, I got a card from Jan from Australia um, Christmas card thank you so much Jan it's really funny and then I got a card and this card really made me laugh from Wendy I recognize your name Wendy uh, from comments and and all that <laughs> but this card is just amazing have a look at that like my outfit is from forever 71 <laughs> that will be me at 71 um and that was for my birthday thank you so much wendy and she sent me this gift look at that um i don't know if you made it yourself you probably made it yourself she made me those sock cupcakes and she has sent me a couple of one step gels i did uh, i have tried one step gels and they are all christmasy so i've got a green one and nice red one thank you so much wendy and i love this type of socks um, I get such cold feet I've got quite bad circulation so these are like my staples in a win winter but I love it what you did with them you made oh look at them they're so soft love it oh my god that's two pairs I thought it was just one pair sock in each oh thank you Wendy that's lovely oh they're gorgeous thank you so much honestly I love these socks So my cards are going to my keepsake box. I love keeping my cards from you. Anyway, I think uh, what we're going to do now is it's quite a nice sunny day. It's quite cold, but it's lovely and sunny. We might take uh, Louis for a nice long walk. Um, I don't know if I will vlog anymore. I will have to edit this video now, so it's ready for tomorrow. I'll see you later. <laughs>